Today I'm going to be doing a super cozy winter landscape scenery using oil paint. I pre-prepped this canvas with some liquid clear. All the colors will be in the details and I'm going to put them across the screen right now. The brushes will be there as well. It's a super easy painting using the wet on wet technique, so let's get started. I'm going to start off using a two inch brush. I want this to be a very warm winter scenery, so I want to use some like more pastel colors. I'm starting with a baby blue color and some titanium white. I'm going to start off right here in the middle of the canvas with crisscross strokes. Just like that. Then I'm going to go straight into the blue color without cleaning my brush. And do crisscross strokes around. Now I want to even add a little bit of like a pinkish purple, It'll probably turn a little purple because I'm not going to clean the brush around this. And just remember you can not add any of this reddish hue if you prefer not to. It's your world. Adding even more of that red pink hue. I want the end edges to be a little bit darker. Alright, so I have a clean blending brush right here, and I'm going to start here in the light color and tap and work my way out. Wipe off my brush with a paper towel. Yep. This, so looking at it, this guy is not bright enough for me in the middle. So I'm going to put some titanium white on my two inch brush once I wipe it off. That's why it's handy to have a couple brush brushes in play. Loaded it up with some titanium white. I'm going to tap in the middle and work my way out. I don't want to go too gray. It's going to be bright now. <laughs> and I'll get my blending brush and start in the middle and just work your way out. Same thing. There we go. Wiping off my blending brush, and now we're going to go back and forth and blend all these colors together. It's going to create some nice lines that look like clouds. So now we're going to start on some little bushes here in the background. I have my one inch brush that I'm working with now and I filled it up a whole bunch of paint. Added also a little bit of a paint thinner because we already have a couple layers here and we want it to go on nice. In my world, there's a big tree. It's been there for a while. And this one has some friends. Like I said, it's been here for a while, so I have the opportunity to drop some seeds, make some cousins, and all that. And you're just laying in the colors. No worries about the details quite yet. Now, I want these bushes to be covered in some snow, so I want to use 
my two inch brush just because I already have some lighter white color on laid out on there. I got my two inch brush. I put a whole bunch of titanium white on it, with a little bit of paint thinner, and I'm just going to start tapping on these uh, bushes and one at a time. You want to work it one little bush at a time and try to leave some negative space. You see how I left some darkness in between? You'll see it once you get a little further how that's going to create an illusion of depth. I came in with some of these to have a little bit of color to them. So that pink color that I used earlier and tapping it into my same dirty brush and I'm going to work on these little bushes over here. Maybe they're trees, who knows, they're so far away. It's hard to tell. Always leave some gap. Fill it up. And I want that one to be a white one, so that's why I left it uh, blank for now. titanium white that's why I always have a large tube especially with these winter sceneries you're, you're gonna go through a lot of white paint all right so I loaded it up with some more white going here and a little further back I'm gonna wanna highlight this a little bit more. There we go. Maybe there's a little bush in the front. Nice, I'm happy with that. Now let's create some little tree trunks. I loaded up my liner brush with some burn umber and I'm just, where these little negative space is, I'm gonna add some trunks. I did put brown on my brush, but there's so much paint and paint thinner and liquid clear that it's just making the paint move. It's creating different colors, which is actually really nice. Put as many little trunks as you want, and don't just put a whole line down. There's bushes in between that are blocking off your view, so you can't really see all of them. Looks like a nice place for some little creatures to live. Maybe there's some hummingbirds in here. Some foxes. <laughs> All right, so I'm happy with that. This is way in the background, so we don't need to add too much detail. Now we're going to start just putting some snow here. Like I said, this is going to be a super snowy winter scenery, so I'm happy with my two-inch brush. It's already loaded with some white in there. Perfect. I'm just going to scoop. And it's okay if the colors mix at the top because that's going to create like a little shadow. Looks like there's some bushes underneath that snow. I'm happy with that. Looking great. We're almost halfway done here. So now I told you guys I wanted to do a cozy little cabin and I think there's one in my world right here. And for that, I just first, I like to kind of just draw in the dimensions here. And how I remember cabins, triangle, Square, rectangle, 
and then little loops that connects it all together. And that actually has to go that way, so that there. And I'm just gonna try to get off as much paint as I can. That way it's gonna be easier for us to lay down the paint on top. Just remember that it's triangular. And remember that it's just the front of the cabin, the side. And for this, I love doing low cabins. It's so easy, you're gonna use a palette knife. If you haven't did one of these before, you're gonna have some fun. I'm just gonna get a roll of paint on there. First, I like to just enclose the, the outline. And then pull it down. We need one more outline. And then the edge of this roof is right here in my world. Doesn't need to be perfect because this cabin has seen many winters. Might be on its last. <laughs> Snow is too much for its roof. All right, and I just put another line on that bed because that's the other side of the roof. Now we have the roof on there. Now they won't get snow inside their house and get cold. <laughs> but my cabin, the inside of it, Karen, is made of wood. So you, you know what wood is, it's the brown color. So we're going to go back into that front, front under. I usually wear gloves because look at that. People tell me all the time, why are you wearing gloves? I don't need to wear gloves. Yes, I do. <laughs> I do. You know, I wish I wasn't this messy, but so I loaded up with some burnt umber. And I'm just going to start at the edge of the titanium white and pull down. Barely just touching the paint onto the canvas, like applying no pressure. I want to enclose it because I don't, I won't stain the lines. And as a kid, reload. So in my world, this side of the cabin is on the opposite side of the sun. So it's in the shade. So this side is a little bit darker. So I added a little bit of blue to my brown just to give it a darker effect. And now this time I'm not going to pull down, I'm going to pull sideways. Load it back up with some paint. And close it from the other side. And just pull across. I accidentally wanted it all over, so I'm just going to go back here. Make a distinct line. And I like that. Well, we can't have a cabin without a door. These people need to get out, you know? We don't want them trapped in there. So I'm going to use my liner brush, dip it in a little titanium white because some thick paint is on there right now. It's going to go into my brown and make like a little door. Now they can get out. They're not trapped. It just snowed the night before so there's still some snow on the door edges. I did too much there. 
but oil paints forgiving. Always just wind it away. Nobody's gonna know. I wish I would have knew that sooner. Of all other paintings I bought or destroyed, she just picks. I'm happy with this little cabin now, but we need to kind of even this out. So we're gonna go into our two inch brush and some more titanium white, our favorite color today. This is gonna be fun to clean, I'll tell you that. So I'm gonna start I mean, we're gonna start here at the bottom and just swipe, kind of just making some land on the bottom of that cabin. It's on a little ridge. It's that easy. <laughs> you can create a whole mountain of snow with a two inch brush. Now, now that I'm looking at this, I see a little fence right here. Maybe they had some animals at one point. They wanted them to stay safe. Had a little dog. And so, I'm just gonna drop in some lines. Just far away, so can't see too much. And the color I'm using is the color I made this wood for the side of the cabin here. This is a janky little fence. It's older than the cabin, so <laughs> that's what you can do. Make up your own little story. Cabin is complete. Has its own fence, but it did just snow. So same brush, put some titanium white. Just gonna on the top of the fence. There's a little line of snow. We're so close to being done. You're doing great. <laughs> so now I'm going to have one more mountain just going this way. I'm going to use my two inch brush back in the titanium white just to make sure it goes down. I just dipped my brush into some paint thinner. And I'm going to create land. had to clean my hands because they were getting very out of control. Literally my fingernails are stained. I don't know how to do this. But okay, back to business. We're so close to being done. So we just laid out the final forefront of the scenery and we want a big tree right here. I know as Bob Ross would say, this is your bravery test. So I have another brush that I've been waiting to use, super clean. It's like a round brush and it's gonna create some nice bushes right here. All right, so I mixed some bird umber with some of the blue because I wanted this color to be even darker than the brown. And so I loaded up my round brush and I'm just going to tap in kind of the same thing over here, but just bring that down all the way down till we get to our little hill. I want there to be some bushes here too. Happy with that. 
going back into my two inch brush and it has a whole bunch of titanium white in it still and we're just going to do what we did here create highlights leaving space in between and i'm adding a little bit of that pink now because i want the bushes down here to have a little bit of color Kind of makes them look different from the ones in the background too. And I'm just going to do how we did it with the cabin, how we did in the background. Blend this. this to be even more distinct so I loaded up my brush with some more titanium white and I'm just going to scoop it down. I'm picking up my painting because there's a lip here in my easel. This makes it hard for me to paint the edges. There we go. That's distinct. You know, if you like it like this and you want to stop, go for it. But I see a couple more things happening here. So I see we, we need some more little trunks in here. Liner brush. I just put some titanium, not some, some paint thinner. And that's just going to help me create these little, as many as you want or as few. We're going to finish off this painting with some really big trees living right in the forefront. So I am using my liner brush again and I put some of that. I'm going to do a those. couple trees in front. I'm using my liner brush with some black. Perfect. my trees to be a little crooked. And get a nice little chunk on there and we're gonna just the edge of this tree put a line and once we get that line in we're gonna pull it sideways makes it look like a tree trunk I'm gonna have to reload the brush and knife a few times. The sound effects help. You can go back and define your lines. But trees are usually a little wonky, so. It doesn't have to be perfect.
little to the side. Once you get to the very tippity top, I just try to put some on top of it. Just tap into some of those trunks. Or branches, rather. You don't want too much color in there, so. Just a little highlight. All right, just like that, we have some more bushes. <laughs> I mean, just like that, we have some more trees. And I just want to define these lines a little, add some highlight. Now this is an old tree. It doesn't even have any leaves yet. Maybe they'll come back in the summer. Last thing we need to do is just even this out, blend it into the snow, because maybe some of those little branches went into the snow and made it the same color as the tree. I keep saying almost done, but now I kind of see a, a moon right here. This is super easy, don't overthink it. Cool thing about the cool thing about the moon is that everybody in the world sees the same moon. Just blend that in. Fix a couple little strays. Here. We're done. <laughs> it wasn't that hard and it definitely had a good time. I hope you did too. This is our result and if you enjoyed watching this, definitely give it a like and don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you next time.